Oh man, I can tell this is going to be one of those videos that's going to get a very interesting reaction because it's such a divisive topic. The whole concept of who's going to main event night one of WrestleMania 37, whether it should be Banks versus Belair for the SmackDown Women's Championship, or whether it should be Bobby Lashley defending his WWE Championship against Drew McIntyre, regardless of which side of the fence you're on, both of which... There's cases there, there's a rally in you know each camp as to why each match should main event WrestleMania. So what I'm going to try and do in this video is discuss it as objectively as I can and really just generally give my opinions because it's such a divisive topic as I said. Currently we've got main event Banks vs. Belair trending like in America and we've got like just generally main event Banks vs. Belair is trending. And then meanwhile, you've also got main event Lashley versus McIntyre trending. So it's a very tricky one. Like I, I spent about 10 minutes reading through the main event Banks versus Belair, or Belair like tweets. Um, the general sentiment is two black women main eventing 9-1 of WrestleMania for the first time in history. I'd love to see that. You know, uh, it's main event Banks versus Belair or bust black women for the main event. Uh, let's see, you know, what better way than having two African-American women headlining WrestleMania? Uh, since the incels want to be annoying, you know, Banks vs. Belair greater than McIntyre Lashley. Th that's the general sentiment, okay? Generally speaking, the sentiment is two African-American black women, you know, women of color, main eventing WrestleMania. That's what WWE needs to do. And... It's such a tricky one because I'm looking at this as objectively, week after week on WWE TV, what is Banks vs. Belair offering? What is Lashley vs. McIntyre offering? Nothing about race, nothing about the sex of who's involved. I'm objectively watching WWE TV every week and my opinion is formed based upon what I see on WWE TV each week. Now. Before I get into my honest opinion, I need to preface this by saying Belair, Sasha, Lashley, Drew, all of them bring something to the table. All of them are really good. They're all great, regardless of nationality, race, sex, etc., etc. That stuff doesn't matter. That stuff doesn't matter at all. Okay, I'm just watching this as wrestlers on a TV show. So, based upon that, my honest opinion on this whole situation is that I get why Belair vs. Sasha Banks could and maybe even should main event WrestleMania, okay? Sasha Banks, as the SmackDown Women's Champion, for months and months and months, was the second best thing generally on SmackDown, well, she was. And then on Raw, if you include Raw as well, it's almost fair to say she was the second best thing in WWE outside of Roman Reigns. So, in that regard, it's fair. Bianca Belair did win the Royal Rumble, and per how the Royal Rumble should work, Belair should, theoretically, get the main event spot at WrestleMania on night one because she won the Rumble match and she chose Sasha Banks. Therefore, she should get the main event spot. But the thing with that, which people seem to forget, is that last year, Charlotte Flair won the Royal Rumble. Last year, WrestleMania was two nights. And last year, Charlotte Flair opened night two of WrestleMania. So, it's not exactly when the, the Women's Rumble is won, that means you just main event a night of WrestleMania. Hell, even when you win the Men's Rumble, that doesn't always mean you main event a night of WrestleMania. Like, generally speaking, like when Seth Rollins won the Men's Rumble in 2019, he was opening the show. Like, you see the general point here. When 2018, when Nakamura won the Rumble, he was in the mid-card of WrestleMania 34. So, it's not just objectively, you win the Rumble, you main event WrestleMania. And that's got nothing to do with sexism or racism, like that, no. That's just what WWE do. Like, that's just how they operate their business, how they structure their WrestleManias. So, that whole point that because you know, Belair won the Rumble, she must main event WrestleMania. Well, no, Charlotte Flair won the Women's Rumble last year and she opened night two. So, th that argument isn't there. As far as, like, the, I want to make the point about what they're doing on WWE TV, because this is a big one. When you look at the storylines, okay, you look at the storylines of Lashley and McIntyre, Banks and Belair. I, I compare the two of them, and it makes me think, okay, let, let's look at Banks versus Belair first. Let's objectively look at Banks versus Belair. What's happened? So basically, 
we had most of February was Belair waiting to choose between Sasha and Asuka. Okay, fair, reasonable. Then the past like month, essentially the whole storyline has been Sasha Banks saying that she's the boss, Bianca Belair saying that she's the EST, Belair also saying that she's the BEST, and Sasha Banks saying, no, you're not the BEST because I'm the boss and I'm the number one. And then Reginald's just there, and then Sasha Banks went from hating Reginald to kind of liking Reginald, and now Reginald's with Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Yeah. So, do with that what you will. Bianca Belair's kind of just saying that I'm the, I'm the AST every week, and that I'm the, the number one, I'm the AST. And then, at Fastlane, Sasha Banks slapped Belair. So, th that's the build to one. On, on the contrary, you've got Bobby Lashley, a guy who, for 17 years, like, should have been the w WWE or world champion in WWE once, but he, he wasn't, because regardless of what factor that may be, whether that his skin colour factors into that from WWE's perspective, I'm not going to throw accusations out there. The fact that Lashley wasn't champion up until 2021, the fact that he wasn't champion in 2007 and took till now for him to be champion, I don't like that at all. But the fact of the matter is Lashley is finally champion now. He deserves it more than near enough anyone. He's now, Lashley's now champion. He's got an awesome stable with him in the Hurt Business. Drew McIntyre has been the top face of Raw for literally the past over a year and a bit now. Okay, Drew McIntyre is WWE's top face. Lashley is like the top champion on Raw. And you've got the awesome stable of the Hurt Business. Lashley's 17 year odyssey has come true. He's now the champion. Can he hold on to that in a main event capacity against WWE's big top face McIntyre? A lot about that match screams main event of WrestleMania. A lot about Lashley versus Drew McIntyre is what you think of when you think WrestleMania main event. And that's why a lot of people think about that as the match that should main event night one. And then on the contrary, yes, ba Banks versus Blair, it's history making. It's two you know, women of color potentially main eventing a WrestleMania. And that's where the contentious debate comes in. But if you, I want to make this point before I kind of close the video. If you're going to use race as the, you know, the defining factor, it's a bit of a dumb one because Bobby Lashley is WWE's, what, second African-American, like, black WWE champion ever. Kofi Kingston the first, Lashley the second. And Drew McIntyre is a proud Scotsman. So it's not just like these are two just stereotypical, generic, random white American guys. Like, if you're bringing race into it, I, I need to bring that point up. It, people, are, people are acting as though... Banks versus Belair, because these are two, you know, people of colour, that therefore they need to main event purely because of that, even though Lashley and McIntyre, Lashley is a person of colour himself, and Drew McIntyre is, like, he's, you know, European, he's from Scotland, so it's not like he's just a generic, like, no, bringing race into wrestling, it's just such a messy one, but nonetheless, nonetheless, this one, it's such a contentious one, WWE, here's, my, here's what I'll say, WWE, Vince McMahon, Stick to your guns. Do what you feel is the best main event, okay? I want you, Vince, to make this decision. I don't want Stephanie influencing your decision. I don't want the cancel culture mob on Twitter influencing what your decision is. I want Vince, you just to stick to what you believe in. What you believe will be the bigger draw on night one. What you believe will be the bigger, most, like, more memorable main event of night one. Vince, I want you to stick to that because at the end of the day, this is your company. You make that decision. Don't put that decision in the hands of people on Twitter who are, are crying and complaining. Don't put that into the you know, put that decision in the hands of people on Twitter who are demanding Lashley and McIntyre. You decide, Vince. So that's my that's my message. You decide. So yeah, that's gonna be the video. Like, comment, sub. Very contentious one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.